Jam and turn it all together here. Get it all together. Hey, song first. Hey, there we go. Oh, as you can see, I have my favorite craft beer, Devil's Peak. Devil's Peak. Now you're gonna say Devil's Peak, and of course I got my old antique bottle opener. This is not opening my Devil's Peak. Anyway, this it is. Um, it's a craft beer from Cape Town. You know, Cape Town area. Now, when you know Cape Town, you know, you've, you've heard of Table Mountain, a famous Table Mountain. Let me go from your perspective. So, Table Mountain says it's right there, right? On this side of Table Mountain, where on this side is Lion's Head, goes into the, the well, goes into the rich area. Not rich area, but just goes into the beach area. And Lion's Head is, is, is looks like a head, but if you look at it from an airplane, it's like the head, but then it's like, like you see the lion's rump. You know what I mean? So if you look from the air, it, looks, it actually looks like a line. So you have lion's head over here, you have the uh, table mountain over here, and then here you have a little, they're all connected, you have a little peak, right? And that's called Devil's Peak. In fact, I used to live right under Devil's Peak, a place called Woodstock. But Woodstock, and I used to, dogs at the time, I was dog Hey Hey, you know, dog named Hey Hey. He was rescued from Taiwan, a long story. Anyway, so the dog every once in a while, you know, we would hang out like we go to Newlands Forest, because I like the forest. People go to the beach and roast. I don't know why they roast at the beach, but they go to the beach and roast. Uh, but I used to go take Hey Hey to the forest, to Newlands Forest. We'd have a grand time. Sit there, read a book, have foot in the brook, you know, in the, the babbling brook, you know. Hey Hey's running around doing whatever he's doing. But we used to go up to Devil's Peak, but I didn't actually like to go up to Devil's Peak, but hey, hey, because coming back down, when I put, hey, hey, I had to take ticks off on I hate ticks, you know what I mean? I'm not a really tick fan. You know, when I was in India, I was in this tick infested area, but hey, the ticks didn't bother me because I was well protected. <laughs> anyway, the point is. Uh, so, so anyway, so Devil's Peak, it's just a, it's a craft beer, a local beer that they're now distributing all the way here in the Eastern Cape. And, uh, I like it. Anyway, um, in fact, uh, you know, oh, right now it's uh, it's a Friday afternoon, whatever time it is. Whatever. Um, it's Friday afternoon, early afternoon. He said, "Why are you drinking beer now?" Well, because it's. Look, I used to <laughs> I used to go to Mexico a lot. Actually, the same thing all over the world. And they party from like Thursday night all the way to Monday morning. You know, you know, dance is like amazing. If you really, I don't know how Mexico is now because I haven't been there in a while. But also, same thing, a lot of places, like uh, um, uh, um, when I was up there with the Cree Indians up there in, in, in Canada, all the way up there, you know, where the geese fly home, you know, those, again, they would be drinking from Thursday night all the way to Monday morning, drink the, call it, drinking to the bottom of the, of, the, of the bottle. They just keep on drinking. But what, what, I don't know, forget all that stuff. That's not why we're talking here today. <laughs> Since it's Friday morning, you know, my notifications, I get, you know, Professor Black Truth, you know what I mean? You know. The, the black two headquarters, you know the the you know I'm talking about the black B L A Q one, black one, the black one brigade, the B one brigade. Oh, I'm saying brigade, but you know the B one. You know I like the black troops. I mean I like listening to him, but he was going to something. So shout out to black troops. Oh, also since I'm shouting out, I like that term. Yeah. Hey, the Fuhrer, Fuhrer TV, man. Like I said, I love the guy, but he gave me a notice, so you know. Thanks so much. If you, if, so two of the people that I really like is, is, is the Fuhrer. You just got to get used to the Fuhrer, man. But I love the Fuhrer. He he comes with notifications all the time, and I just click on everything because I just like I just like him. You know, he's highly, 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 highly Fuhrer. <laughs> and then it's called Black Truth. But Black Truth. It's talking about something. It's talking about followers versus versus soldiers. You know what I mean? And I'm into that. If you ever get an email from me, um, then you will notice that the email. It will say at the end, I follow no one and I seek no followers. I follow no one, um, semicolon, and I seek no followers. Pretty good, isn't it? But basically when I say follow no one, I mean I don't follow any person. I follow concepts. I follow, I follow. you know, if you want to say the, the, the great spirit like that. But as, as far as people go, oh, no. I had a, a thing one time. 
long time. This was like maybe 1969, 68, 69, whenever it was. I think it's LIU. The LIU had a had a some sort of. I think it was LI, Long Island University, but I think they had a little thing in Brooklyn, whatever. Happened. Anyway, they had this thing in Brooklyn, and all the black leaders at the time. I mean, like you had to Stokely Carmichael, like H. Rabbit Brown. I think even Robert F. Williams was there. I mean, a bunch of people at this place. You know what I mean? So I sat there. The place was packed. I can, I clearly remember where I was sitting. I was sitting up there. The stage is over there. And some listeners to me, and what I noticed that after each person spoke, I like like there was like 15. There's got to be like 15 big, you know, activists at the time. Everybody got a rousing applause, and now some. I said, wait a second, how could you? That person just said something that was diametrically opposed to that person over there. How could you applaud so vehemently for you know everybody? Anyway, so it taught me a lesson. Don't follow no one. Have a mind of your own. So anyway, so so anyway, so, so, so that was a uh, professor Black Truth was going off on on followers versus um, uh, versus I don't know soldiers. You know, and what you want is like even now I have look if you listen to you know I don't have any viewers. I don't have I, I, I got some subscribers because I've been going on for a while. But you know people don't check in all the time, which is fine with me. Really, because uh, um, like I said, I'm, I'm sitting here in South Africa, uh, but come J June, July, whatever have you, I'll be in the States for about four months or, or so, and then I'm on a really hit. I'll be, I'll be talking about joining the fray. I'm joining the fray right now. I'm just sorting things out, getting things out of my thing, and blah, 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 blah. But anyway, so what you want is you want a dedicated group. I'm talking about small, three, four. You could do the Jesus thing 12 at the most, you know what I mean? You don't want a thousand people do at your will and beck and call or whatever. Have you. you do the Malcolm thing and everything like that, and then the authorities know who you are and blah, blah, blah. No, you want small little cadres of people that are very effective. That's what you want. Anyway, sorry, it's hot today. Oh, I'm sort of dressed up because there's a function in town. They opened up and did the new taxi rank that they built. Anyway, it's opened up. So, you know, the mayor and all this was there. I was there, but I left. <laughs> Came home. Tricks of Devil's Peak. Anyway, let me get to the point. So you want a small, ga a small gathering of people. Now, one of my favorite, now I'm, now I'm segwaying, I'm segwaying. One of my favorite films of all time is then called Watch Stacks. It's, the, it's an amazing film. You know, it was it was filmed in I think '72 after you know the, the Watts uprise or his head '68, whatever. So anyway, so the Stacks record company and, and uh, got together and they got their artists and they went and gave a celebratory thing to to Watts, you know, to the Watts area. And so um, what they did uh, uh, when with the guy that made them, he just died recently. Woper, anyway, he was a white guy. You know, he he did, he did this film. He did the film. And, but he was mainly known as a TV producer. In fact, another one he did, he did Watts Sex, he also did the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Both really good films. Anyway, um, so he did this film, but when he was doing the film, he didn't want to do a regular concert film, because it was a concert, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, filming the people from Watts, the Watts Sex record label. So he wanted to get, um, so he had commentary in between, so he wanted to get to the community. Also, somebody brought him to attention of uh, brought his attention to Richard Pryor. So Richard Pryor is doing these segments too. So he went to the community. So you had the, you had the concert part, you had the Richard Pryor part, and then you have the community. Now the community was that they went to a, a barber shop, a beauty shop, as far as I can tell, the, reg, the community community, right, the regular community out out, out and about, um, you know, a bunch of places, you know, and they, they get commentaries, and I. Uh, if you watch the film uh, from about, uh, I don't know, oh, what's that? Um, I don't know what market it is, but where where I think it's right after, or oh, the Staple Singers, the Staple Singers Respect Yourself. If you watch the film from just a, near the beginning, the Staple Singers to the bar case, the bar case, I have to go off the bar case just a second, that section, and then all the comments in between, you get a good feel that that's what the film is really, the essence of it. <clears throat> but I had to go to the bar case just a second before I get to what I'm saying. Word has it, because I had the original I have the original thing someplace. I think I think it's still in Cape Town, whatever have you. So anyway, uh, in that in that special set they, they go into the background, the people talk to the the commentary, whatever have you. Okay. But one of the commentaries said that the Bar K's, who was I think they were they were supposed they were supposed to be the backing band, or oh, they were the backing band for Otis Redding, but they didn't take that flight, but Otis Redding died and whatever. I think that's the same band. Anyway, the bar case, so they wanted to turn the place out. They was performing in the middle of the day. The big star at the time was, you know, was Isaac Hayes because, you know, he had Shaft and, you know, whatever, Black Moses and all that stuff. <coughs> okay. So what happens is the bar case, 
It was at the L.A. Coliseum, I guess that's what they call it, football field. They used to play football there. And so the Barcades wanted to enter, because they, they just, they dress outlandishly, you know, everybody's got their frozen, but they just outlandish all kinds of different looks. They wanted to hire, because remember, we're close to Hollywood, they wanted to hire a chariot, chariots, you know, with the horses and chariots, and come on the field, <laughs> and come to the stage with these chariots. It would have just turned the place out. But Isaac Hayes got wind of it and nixed that idea, because he's a big star. What's the matter with people? That would have been so amazing. Oh man, but Isaac Hayes didn't want to be showed up. Well, if you don't want to be showed up, then 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 show out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This power dynamic is, is strange to me, you know? Anyway, let me go back to the thing. So between uh, the, uh, um, the uh, staple singers, you know, I'm able to sing it. Miss Becky, Okay, I'm sorry, I can't sing. Okay, and then all the stuff in between, and then, uh, and then uh, the ball case performs. So if you just watch that section, you see what I'm saying. But part of that section, the, the community, it was in a barbershop. Now you can tell these guys, they're really a barbershop. In fact, the guy talking that I got this from, he's like, he's sweating, you know, he must have been on sound, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so, um, let me see if I can get that's the, that's the, uh, here's the guy. You know that? I'd be a panther. He said something like, sometimes I'd be this, sometimes I'd be that, but I'm always black. And I always remember that, you know, that that's, to me, it was like amazing. It's like a statement, it's like from the mouth of the community. You can be this, you can be that, but you're always black. So I'm ADR, sure, but I'm, you know, we're always black. But out of the blackness, you can have your specialty. As your specialty, you, you move on your specialty. So that's the whole point of it, I think. And uh, to me, a lot of stuff that's happening right now, people are forgetting, you know, that you're black, but you, you need to respect other shades of blackness. So if you're a panther, you can be a panther black, you know what I mean? You could be, uh, I think the guy said, I'm, sometimes I'm a Democrat. You could be a Democratic black. You could be a Republican black. You can, you can be whatever. You can be a criminal black. You see, but you see, it's like what Malcolm said, you know, you don't catch hell because you're Methodist or, 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 or Muslim or Christian, whatever it is. You catch hell because you're black. Now, how do you get out of this? The thing is, whoever is, whoever is the tip of the spear, you know, all the other groups don't stop doing their, doing their movement forward. But right now, ADOS is the tip of the spear. And so that's where my, my energies and a bunch of other people's energies are going to. You don't give up your, your struggle because somebody else is now the tip of the spear. Give yourself a break. Rest. No, I'm rest. But, you know, do your thing and do, do some gathering, da-da-da-da-da. But support the tip of the spear. It's as simple as that. Easy, right? Okay. Uh, one more thing. Also, there was a... Uh, Another, I forgot the brother. Anyway, I, 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 I had this uh, thing, and um, he was, uh, uh, they talking to ADOS, and um, a sister, uh, I made a comment, you know, because this guy, this guy got on, it was a big conference with a big, a lot of people on his line, but the guy got on, he was talking about these things he wanted to do, a, 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 a municipal thing, basically a, a city thing, a municipal thing, you know, a state thing, is, you know, for reparations, about money goes. And uh, so they was pointing out that this they had these flaws or whatever have you. So I wrote something else down. But basically I was saying that, you know, if you know the, the thing that I had where, um, where I was talking about the debt, what debt means, um, that debt's to be paid for the monetary, it could be goods or services. So I said, hey, services is great. So I wrote down, but you know, you can start something, you need to start it with services. Well, I shouldn't say that, but you could do services. So basically, you know, what I mean, you could reparate the, the money is that that you will we'll deal with that. But right away, you could you can go to your local people and demand services as reparations. Yes, you can. You know, whatever the service is. And then I wrote the, the sister wrote this is a good idea. Then I wrote back. I wrote her back. One of the things I said that I, as an example, like say for instance, what's, what's our biggest thing? The, the justice system, right? The criminal whatever system. And you know, they give you those ankle bracelets, bracelets to wear, whatever happens. But who makes money off those ankle bracelets? Not the community, but some company, some Republican probably, you know, whatever comp company does that. I shouldn't say it like that, but that's what it, that's what it seems to me. 
So what? So I think what should happen is a portion of that money that that's being paid to them, they need to take it and give it to the community. Or maybe we should make our own brace, uh, ankle bracelets to monitor our own people, or leave the cops out of it completely. And that's money generating. It is okay. You know, it's sort of convoluted, but you understand what I'm saying. There are other ways. Money is one thing. We're always going after that. Everybody's after money. Yeah. Hey, oh, we want that money. We want that money. But uh, but you know, there's, there's goods and services. Goods meaning we can get the farmers back doing what they had need to do. You, you forget those Monsanto seeds. You say, no, we're going to get our seeds from wherever. Get it from an African. Get it from some other country that that, that is pure, whatever have you. We support them. Da, 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 da. There's a whole bunch of other things we can do aside from money, aside from the check. <laughs> I'm so sick of hearing about the check. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say it that way. So anyway, so that's it. I just wanted to lay that on you on a Saturday, you know, after, you know, all this other stuff. Here, I'm prepared. that would be me laying it on you. Me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet. Letting you know what I only suspect from a desk of the ADOS, American Descendants of Chattel Slavery. For whatever, back with never.